Hey Molt fans, and welcome to another episode of Our Crystal Isles. This is a super weird angle. And also, why is it that I stick my pinky up when I'm holding the spyglass? Do you see that at the bottom? I, I'm, I'm clearly not from England, but apparently my, my uh, arc character is because that is pinky up right there. But yes, as you just saw, I have been busy working really hard on uh, this tower. And yeah, I finished bringing all of these things in and filling them out was very tedious. And then I just put the pillars and the, the whatchamacallit, uh, railings on there. And then I put railings on the outer ring up here just because it makes it stand out a lot better when you're way down here. It just looks cooler, in my opinion. And I think I might just leave the outside at that because... I don't know. I really like it, and I don't want to add too much more detail that will make it even more laggy, because I have lots to do on the inside. So as you can see right here, I clearly made this little bridge and uh, deleted or removed our old base. Just gonna- I'm gonna- I want to do something really cool with this, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Maybe I'll do that with you guys, but I do have these gates which are three wide, they're the S plus dynamic gates, and then I have in here, and as you can see, I've also been very busy in here. Went and got all the stuff needed for, you know, your standard workshop, got all that set up, made ourselves a little farm over here that it is going, got the beer barrel go going, got Kalian soup for our farmer, that this is now the S plus item collector, which was tripping me out, because I thought it wasn't there anymore, and then I realized it was this guy. Super strange. I was able to make some propellant using the uh, grinder. Where is it? On the other side of this. Still learning where everything is. So yeah, and here you can make the stuff necessary for the propellant. So the sulfur right there just is three feces. So not too too bad. Got the Akatina wandering around here. Picking up the Akatina paste. Need to go uh, get some more Akatinas. Speaking of the Akatinas... My plan today is I really want to go and get some honey. And I know that there's a honey cave. So I'm going to probably kind of cheese it and <laughs> run in there, pickaxe or hatchet, whatever, some honey. And the bees will all kill me, but I'm going to put some sleeping bags and use the gravestone. Just, yeah, I know I'm kind of cheesing it, but hey, this should still be quite interesting. Oh. I also, as you guys probably saw, have these little breeding pens over here. Got my food troughs, got the S plus nanny, which can't run yet because I don't have honey. And then I've got this hatchery, which also... Do I need honey for the refertilizer? No, but I need some more rare flowers and rare mushrooms. So I need to tame a fairy soon. So I need to do that. Still haven't put together all the best stats. I just made this little under area is like a little bedroom. I'll, I plan on decorating it more at some point. I just... After doing all of this tower, I was just kind of ready to be done for a little bit. Made the stairway up. And these pillar things in the middle, I do have a plan for them. They're not just random. Same with these little things. Those are marking each of the different floors. Oh, also I made it so you can access this little balcony area. I figured we could land all of our awesome wyverns. So what I'm planning to do in this middle part is have a gotcha tower, actually. So... We're going to have, I think, like eight floors, and I have it shaped out like this because it, with this shape, you can fit two gotcha gavagers in this shape. So uh, then, so with eight floors, I'll have 16, which is completely ridiculous. Don't need that much, but I don't know. I just like having uh, each of the different gotchas going on the different resources and stuff. So yeah, this is just my creative mode stuff in that vault. I just spawned that into so all the stuff I use for building so I don't have to keep recreating it. So, I think that is most of the updates. Hey, little Akatina. I still am tripping out that this thing is, like, as big as I am. Like, what is with that? That is so bizarre. Can you imagine that in, like, real life? That would be horrifying. Absolutely horrifying. But yes, we are going to uh, make myself some sleeping bags and a another gravestone. And we're going to go head over to that honey cave. I'm going to need to look up where that is exactly. I know it's over in the Redwoods area, so this should be interesting to find. We are here, and these are the coordinates for this entrance right there. 
Oh, that is a galley. Okay. Go away, galley. You scared me. Thought you were something gonna eat me. It's actually really not hard to find at all if you just know that it's around here on the map. So, not bad at all. So, uh, let's put that away. And before I charge in there, because it would be dumb to do this before that, let's throw these down. And this gravestone. And I do have, I can put it straight on the ground, I believe, because I have that setting on in S+. Plus. I do love that setting. Oh, let's take my armor off. Okay. All right. Let's do this. Grab some honey. Oh, man. Oh, man. I love this cave. This is so cool looking. Oh, man. Oh, what's that in the bottom right? I'm, I'm webbed. I am webbed with the honey. And I, look at that. I've got honey on me. Oh man, that's hilarious looking. It's like I got growths growing out of me. Oh man, that's hilarious. I know that there is dire bears in here webbed. Oh my goodness, why does it say web? It should be something like stuck or I don't even know. It does not web. Oh man, this is really cool looking and kind of trippy. Oh man, this is so cool. I'm totally going to run into dire bears if I explore too much farther in. But here, we're going to take a good look through this once I have some honey. Oh man, okay. Let's see. How much honey can I get? Oh, cool. We get rare flowers and organic polymer from these. Okay, well, we have enough honey. I just needed 50 to make a beehive of my own, so I'll just keep hitting this. I have been stung by bees! Oh, I'm so, I'm so dead. <laughs> well, hey, look at all that honey I got. That's sweet. That is awesome. Here, let's go in there again, because that was kind of hilarious. And I brought two sleeping bags, so why not? All right, wakey wakey, eggs and bakey, I don't know. What are these? Do these give anything special? Yeah, they're just normal flowers. Okay, that's fine. Can I get up, please? There we go. Okay, oh. Why, hello, giant worker bee. That looks like a legit bee with that yellowish white. Oh man, that's kind of cool looking. Let's grab our stuff. And now they're all over here because I I uh oh that is oh man look at how big these things are compared to me that's like a million times bigger than the snail look at that that's like twice as big as the snail probably three or four times bigger let's be real okay let's run in here further I've been wept oh there's a dire bear over there let's not antagonize him quite yet I want to get to me some more of this delicious honey this is like Winnie the Pooh's dream like this this place would is like his goal in life, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Um where do I want to go? I wanna get semi away from the bees so I can get some more honey. But there's dire bears. So Hmm. Oh, oh hi, Mr. Dire Bear. Can I get up here? Yes. Okay, this looks like a good spot. And there's a dire bear. Oh my goodness, I am literally in the honey. Look at that. You can't even see me. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, let's do this. Get all of the honey. The bees, they're coming. Oh. Oh no! Oh man, no, they're getting in my face! Yeah, this is more than enough honey. I'm going to go back to base and make some veggie cakes with that because that is going to be beautiful. Oh man. Let's go at Tame Sa'akatinas. Actually, let's find some because I'm sure there's like, this is the Redwoods. I'm sure there's some around here somewhere. So uh, let's grab our stuff. Pick this up if I can. Can I not? Okay, fine. I'll use this. Boom. And let's throw our armor back on so uh, we have clothes. And hide my hat, and we're good. Let's go find us some Akatinas. Let's check out that honey. Ah, uh, yes. Let's throw it in there. And that and that. And I don't care about the rest. Okay. Cool. Let's find ourselves some Akatinas. And hopefully not get thylacoleoed. That would be the worst. I'm going to, like, skirt the edge. Or stay by these thinner trees. There we go. That's what I'll do. Are there any Akatinas on the ground and hopefully i'm not missing them oh that helps a little bit hmm 
Where are these little snails that aren't so little? Maybe I'd, I'd have more luck in the swamp. There, which way am I heading? Yeah, let's keep heading it. This way, it should take us to a swampy area. Where are you, Akatina? I don't even care what the level is. I just want some ac more Akatinas. And then once I uh, can uh, make some uh, kibble, I can actually probably make just some uh, basic kibble. Hmm, yeah, I could probably make some basic kibble with what I have. Just with my item collector now picking up eggs and whatnot. And then we can feed the animal tender, and it will just keep on taking the polymer and Akatina paste out of its inventory, which is super handy. Okay, where are these snails? I want a snail. I love the, the different colors of the crystals on this map. It's pretty cool. Yeah, this is totally swamp, so they are, they'd also be over here. And this is a little bit safer... That is completely relative. It's easier to avoid things because we know that there's not any, any whatchamacallit, it, stylocolios in the trees. Over here at least. There's obsidian though, so that's good to know. Man. Let's throw that down. And that is a cat row. Lovely. Like I said, relative whether or not it's actually safer. Can we like... Come on. Seriously? Where is a snail? Oh, is that one right there on the ground? No, nope, that's a red lystra. Why? You've deceived me. That is rude. Hey, I found salt. Cool. Good to know that it's here. So these are the coordinates for these nodes right there if you want those. Still looking for the snails, however. Okay, you guys see these vents right here in the water? Those are gas veins, and I'm assuming that we can put the uh, the uh, gas collector thingies on there. Because as we come closer, as you can see, it says gas vein. So also, oh look, and they drop those. So yeah, probably, definitely can do that. Can we harvest these for anything? Does not look like it, but oh, I'm poisoned. Great. But hey, that is really good to know. Oh, I'm suffocating. Oh man. <laughs> Good to know those gas veins are there. I'm still suffocating because of the gas grate. So yeah, these are the coordinates for this spot. But I'm sure that means that there is some other places that, like, who knows? But that's really cool, and this is about where we are on the map. So there are those for you. At long freaking last, I found one! I'm all the way over here now. I was looking up spawns on the wiki, and apparently they spawn over here. I finally found one! That took so long. Good grief. Oh great, now I've gotta... Uh, now I've gotta somehow manage to pick it up. Okay, we're gonna fly around, and where'd he go? I think he's by my poop. Great. Okay, where did he go? Right there. And we got him. Sweet. Now I'm going to head back to base. Whoa, lag. And back to base. And uh, tame this guy up. We're actually probably fairly close. So yeah, just down here, actually. Uh, let's see. Just, I think, follow this river? I think? Yep, totally. We just follow this river and it's right over here. Woohoo, there's base. That was super close to base. Okay, apparently I should have just come home and then looked for these guys. That would have been nice to know. Ugh. All right. Bring this guy in. And uh, I'm, I love this gate being three wide, six high, because the dragon can uh, fit into it. And it's really nice. Not gonna lie. Okay, let us make some veggie cakes. I just realized I need to uh, make a cooking pot. Or do I still have one in here? Oh, sweet. Let us place this cooking pot. And uh, place a canteen. And I'm just going to... Uh, I am still, unfortunately, still, I think the cooking pot is at level 89. Great. Oh, and the cryo fridge is at level 88. Not quite there yet. I'm at level 82. I was leveling, grinding out 
bunch of narcotics and stuff while leveling everything. So I'm going to make some vegetable cakes and then bring you guys back once these guys are, uh, well, once I have enough to tame them. Where'd the other one go? And there he is. And it's up. Sweet. Oh, sorry, let me adjust my mic. It was touching my chin. Okay. So we have our two Akatinas up. I named that one Bat Snail because it was all black and then it had that white stripe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it just seemed fitting. That's all. That's all. Let's give you the rest of that, I suppose. I actually had to use some narcotics to keep it down, which was interesting. So now we have two Akatina, which are going to provide us with some lovely Akatina paste over time. Now I just need to see if we can make some basic kibble. Hmm. Alright, this is taking a second to load in. But I was able to find an oil pump in a drop a while back. Wow, it's taking forever to load in. And uh, there we go. And uh, let's see how much oil I have inside. Wow, that's it. That is unfortunate. Well, needed some more oil anyway. I want to make a bunch of prime jerky for the event. If you don't know, you can pick up this oil on the ground over here. It's really nice. If you didn't see that video, link to it in the top right, but it's also right here. There are the map and the coordinates. So I'm going to collect a bunch of oil. And then probably hatch up some eggs to get some prime meat. And we're going to make a bunch of prime jerky. So I will see you guys in a little bit. So now I am at somewhat of a dilemma. So, but first, oh yeah, so I have some wood for that. I have the five kibble. So I'm going to throw it in here. And sweet, now it activates, and so it will automatically collect the Akatina paste from the Akatina's inventories and the oil from the dung beetles. I love these things of S+. Plus. This thing is still so weird. Like, what is this suit? It looks like a wing suit. Is that in, like, the dev kit? I honestly have no idea, but that's a riot helmet, I believe so. Anyway, now, today, I want to check out the holiday items. So, oh, cooked meat. Okay, so some of these take cooked meat, cooked prime meat. Oh, interesting. They only take cooked meat and cooked prime? Oh, there's the prime meat, Yorkie. So some of them do take. Okay. So I uh, am uh, turning all of my prime. I do have some extra. Okay, so let me uh, grab my reach real fast. Oh, dilemma. So... Right here. I have- I actually don't want to turn that into jerky yet. But I have everything here, plus 2,000- and I mean another thousand more raw prime I have in my fridge. I was able to pull for a thousand raw- or not raw, uh, prime meat jerky. So I think I'm just going to spawn that in. So just because I'm, I'm not on a server and I play single player, I'd have to just sit here and wait for it and- even though I have it at a faster speed, it still just takes forever. So we're just going to see if I can... Here, I'm just going to look up the, the 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 spawn code real fast. Alright, there we go. So give myself a thousand prime meat jerky, and I'm going to drop this on the ground. Let's take three. Yeah, okay. So, woohoo, we got that. Never mind, I had a bunch of my refrigerator. So throw those in there. And I want to check these out. So these were in the, the, the event last year. What are those? Summer Swirl Candy. Okay. So are these the Raptor Swim Bottom? Is that for Crab Fest Swim Bottom? Okay, so which is the one for... I'm guessing those are the... I don't even know! Which is the one for the guys and which is the one for the girls? I'm so confused. Okay, well, anyway, let's be making these emotes, because we're going to want those. I am slightly confused. Oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. They should probably all work. I think these are old ones. Yeah, these are the old ones. And these ones down here are the new ones. Okay, I'm smart. I finally figured it out. Okay, we got to take some of these out. Let's learn all these emotes. 
and sweet let's wait for these to be done and then we're gonna check them out well at least the new ones some of the the old ones i'm just making to eat and then we can just make a bunch of random chibis because i need a chibi in this series like come on that needs to be a thing all right you guys ready we're going to try these new skins i'm so excited so let's try uh, that one first and yeah let's just do one at a time oh i love the bulb dogs those are so cute that is a really happy shirt. That is a really, really happy shirt. You cannot tell me otherwise. That is a very happy shirt. It's this one. Are those? Okay, it says, what's the name of it again? Gas Bags Print Shirt. Okay, I guess the Gas Bags is supposed to be a beach ball. That's just odd to me. I like the, I don't even know. Is that red or pink? Um, Like behind the gas bags. I, I don't even know, red or pink, who knows? Oh, I wonder if you can dye these. <gasps> can you dye the skins? Oh man, we're gonna have to check that in a sec. Oh, I love the popsicles. That's amazing. Yes, I love that. And then this last one, this is the ice pop. Wait, what? No, that's not the ice pop. This is the sea life. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's got the ichthys and ammonites and clams and stars and bubbles and random splotches. Some of those bubbles look like they are like small smiley faces. Like, look at that one right below my head. It's like a one-eyed smiley face. That's kind of funny. Wow, now I'm going to see all the bubbles as one-eyed smiley faces now. <laughs> oh man. Okay, let's take that off. Let's look at the bottoms. Oh, that's not where they go. Okay, we have some uh, Carcanos and Europeards, it looks like. Cool, cool. And then we have that one. This is uh, the fish bite. Oh, lots of angry anglers. Oh man, don't want to mess with them. That would be no bueno. I am needing some water. Okay, and then we have the Ichthy Island. Okay, and then we've got little dolphins. Okay, that would go well with the, I guess, sea life fur, is it? Sea life? Oh, there we go. Got dolphins everywhere. Lots of dolphins. Okay, wait. The moment of truth. Can we dye these? Alright, you guys ready for this? We're gonna see if we can dye them. I'm so excited. Oh, you can! Yes! Oh, oh, oh yes. This is amazing. Okay, I want that to be red. Because those are my colors. Oh, we can make the buttons. Strange colors. Let's make it olive because I accidentally made that dye. What are these? Oh man, I might just leave the popsicles alone. Like, I kind of like them how they are. I just wanted it to be mainly red. Can we make... What is that? Uh, make them evil popsicles. No, let's not. Let's not do that. That's just strange. Okay, now let's make the base color of this red. There we go. And... Hmm. Oh, you can change the different anglerfish. Oh man, you could get so much fun with these. I don't have enough color dyes. I just get really, really tired of uh, putting water into the cooking pot. Oop, wrong button. No! Please don't tell me that had everything follow me. Okay, good. Whew! That was, that would be not fun. Nope. Okay, so uh, let's check out. I did spawn this flamethrower and I don't have enough electronics to actually make it. But I really wanted to check it out. Oh, it's got a flame symbol on it. Look at that. Oh, yes. It almost looks like something... No, you probably... No, never mind. I was gonna say it looks like something you'd find at Goodwill or something, but no, that's probably not true. My brothers have gotten a lot of Nerf guns from Goodwill. Oh, this is cool. Oh, it doesn't let me... Oh, yes! Oh, you can't even see it. That's so strange. Oh, that's cool. That is... Oh, so cool. I really kind of wish that it was actually water that came out instead of fire, because that would have been awesome. Oh, we got a blue frisbee. Will it do that again? Okay, maybe if we switch it? Okay, yeah, weird. It must be just when it loads in. Okay, and throw. Oh, I love it! It's a frisbee! Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Oh, I'm so going to use these. Throw frisbees at things. Hey, now we can play frisbee golf. Or ultimate frisbee. I love the design on that. Here, let's see. Arc. What does it say underneath it? 
It almost looks like it says something food. Or dude. Oh man, I really wish that it was slightly higher resolution. Poop? I don't even know. Let me know if you guys can figure out what that says underneath. I have no idea. Huh, strange. And then last but certainly not least, as I just had pulled up, it's like not loading in all the way. Oh, strange. No, it just looks really weird. Oh, that's kind of hilarious. Like, but look at that. I'm like, that's not exactly something that knocks you out. Look at those spikes. That'll like tear into you. Okay, putting it on a club skin. This would make more sense for like a sword or something, but all right. Oh man, they should make you able to put this on the sword. That would be awesome. Oh man, that would be so cool. So, and of course, totally forgot to get these started with the chibis. All right, let's make 10 chibis. Okay. Well, looks like I'm going to be farming up. Oh yeah, a parasaur. Not that exciting. Man, now that you can also re-roll the chibis, I kind of want to go back to my Genesis playthrough and- Oh look, it's a rex! That is a really weird looking rex on the thing. Anyway, I kind of want to go and re-roll the- all of those extra chibis I got because good grief I got so many from when I hatched those 16,000 eggs with the- the- oh, what's it called? Um, the Easter event, that's what it was. Almost there, another parasaur. Sad day. But hey, we got a Giga. That's pretty cool. And I was gonna laugh if it was another Giga. If it was another Giga. Oh, we didn't check out the aviators! Oh, we got the Megalodon. And... Oh wait, what? Oh my goodness! There's a little emote when you put them on. He's like, sup. Sup. Oh wait, and they're gone. Oh, because I hit my hat. Oh my goodness, when you hide hat, it'll like, do the emote. So if you uh, unhide the hat, it'll put them on. And then if you hide the hat, he'll take them off. Oh, that is amazing. That's amazing. Oh, I love it. That is so cool. Oh man. So, uh, hmm. Which of these chibis? Actually, no. I'll wait to the chibis another time. I want to re-roll some more. But I think that's going to be it for today, guys. We uh, got some things done around the base, got our farm up and going some more, got some honey. I need to go uh, probably tame a fairy off cam. You guys have seen that before. If you guys really want to see a video of it, just let me know in the comments down below. But I think that's going to be it for today. Got those things done and we got to check out the uh, Summer Bash 2020. And oh man, I love these, this like Hawaiian shirt with the popsicles and the volcanoes. Ah, uh, so great. Uh, yeah, so if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, comment below, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to see more, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!